What's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here and man am I so excited to finally have these damn figures in my collection. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long wait. I was one of probably the many of you that were, you know, had an alarm set for the day that these things went up for pre-ordered. Tried multiple, multiple times. Got all the way to PayPal and at the very last minute it would just crap out. Um, and I'm probably one of many of you out there who you know can't make it to san diego comic-con you know every single year just wait in a long line to get the box set now the box set would have been great it did come in like a kind of old classic vhs for those of you who you know didn't grow up in these times this is what the packaging um mimicked of course it was a, of the original movie which i couldn't find i could have sworn i had these are the only vhs's i could find that i must have kept over the years um anybody remember that that was awesome. And this was like just a behind the scenes special of the um, making of the ooze, I believe. Because that was kind of, I mean, I loved the first movie, but um, Secret of the Ooze was kind of like my favorite growing up. But um, yeah, it's, it's just so great to finally have these figures in hand. And it's awesome that NECA was able to give us these figures or give those, you know, who didn't get it on the website or didn't go to San Diego Comic-Con and pick it up. It's awesome that they found a way to get them out to us collectors that wanted them by having them as a GameStop exclusive, which is probably, you know, much needed for GameStop because they're just slowly going downhill. But yeah, I'm sure these are all over the place. They've been all over the place since the original one, but damn it, I'm going to do my review as well. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with the packaging. But okay, the packaging on these are really nice, you know, for, for what they are. And at least at least we got them, so I'm not going to complain at all. Yeah, it's not what, you know, you're getting less accessories with, with these single carded figures as you did with the, you know, actual set that came out. But um, it still is nice. It still has that original movie poster kind of background to it. You do get a little bit of a cutout. You can clearly see the figure. You got Nickelodeon. You got the name of the actual figure. And then you have the GameStop sticker exclusive. We're just going to use Leonardo for an example because they're all the same. Top of the packaging, you get a little bit more window. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. On this side, you got an image of the figure looking awesome. This side, two, a couple more images of the figure. On the back, again, we kind of have that classic... Uh, I think this is on the back of the original VHS uh, picture of all the turtles. A little bit of a read up here. And then you get more images of the figure. And of course on the bottom, here's all the awesome folks over at NECA that were able to bring us these awesome turtles. Real toys. So this is kind of like a uh, NECA ultimate just without the flap for the most part. And I guess you're not getting as many as accessories. But that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and pop all four, four turtles out and take a look. Okay, and this is what we get out of packaging with these Ninja Turtles. And I'm sure you guys have seen these already. I mean, I have myself, but you know what? I'm going to do, do my review. I got to. I got to. Um, each individual packaging does come with this kind of, you know, slide out, just like all NECA figures do, or a lot of their Ultimate figures do anyway. So this is pretty cool. It kind of has this dark scene of this ladder going up into the sewer. So that comes, that does come with each individual package figure. It, it is a little bit ugly down here because I kind of had this little, you know, cutout mechanism to kind of like hold itself together. But still, cool that it is included. All of the turtles do come with their signature weapons. They all do come with a extra bandana piece and they all do come with a set of hands and a slice of pizza. So pretty much same stuff we got with the or same stuff that you would you would have gotten with the original you know big box set you're just missing a lot of the um other accessories that were like the canister of ooze and whatever else came with the original set but each turtle does get a little tiny slice of pizza and this is done nice nice cool detail on it they all look to be you know f fairly the same as far as paint and everything goes and toppings but that is cool so each of the figures do come with a slice of pizza so you get four slices of pizza uh, Leonardo comes with a pair of kind of like relaxed hands and those look great really nice detail on those with the fingers and everything like that and just uh, you know sculpting and paint and everything they just look really nice um, Donatello comes with a set of pointing fingers 
So that's cool. And of course you could swap these in and out between all the turtles since they all just kind of have this same peg hinged system. And uh, Michael, Donatello, stand up buddy. I know you're excited, but stand up. Uh, of course, Michelangelo, you get the thumbs up. So he comes with two thumbs up hands. All done really nice. And then Raphael just kind of comes with a kind of pair of just like almost relaxed, but slightly different hands. So again, you can, you know, Swap those out between all the figures that you would like. Of course, they all come with their signature weapons. So with Raphael, we do get his Psy. And these look really nice. Again, we got the nice wrapping on them, the nice chrome silver. Michelangelo, we get his nunchucks. So these look good. Nice wooden stick. We could actually get like a rope in the middle here, even though one of mine is kind of like messed up. Like this one's messed up. This one is more kind of flexible where you could actually like, you know, spin it around. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this one. This one's like really kind of hard and brittle. Maybe it's just glue or something that has run, you know, run out onto the string. But, you know, oh well, happens sometimes. Um, Donatello, you get his bow staff and this looks nice. All the way across. And then of course, Leonardo, we get his swords which look really good, but another QC issue that I have is, looks like one of the, uh, you know, sp what do you call those, sp sprues is still on there, so I gotta shave that off, but they look great. The handling's a little bit plain, but we still get a nice sculpting detail on there. So I'm gonna have to slice that off. And of course, each of the turtles get another bandana accessory piece, which has some really nice shading in it, kinda, and it has this peg. And that just goes on the bat. You can take the peg off of this and then put that one in like so. Probably easier said than done because it's such a soft peg. I think this was an issue even on the first one. But you can, you know, plug that in. That way it gives it more of a windswept look if you want. But yeah, all of these figures just look absolutely incredible. Let's take a quick look at Leonardo. He looks awesome. Even in this scale, they did such a great job with just all the shading and painting details and all the little spots all over the place in the knee pads and elbow pads. And we even get some, you know, silver down here. The shell looks great or the front of the shell looks great. The knee pads look great. Getting all the muscle definition and everything like that. There are... Um, peg holes at the bottom of all these turtles. Really nice shading in between the, the front of the shell and the back of the shell. We get that kind of, you know, part right here that we saw in the movie. Very, very movie accurate. These are awesome. His uh, scabbards for his swords, which you can place in. So that's awesome. And these are done really nice. They have a bunch of different colors and textures on them. You know, the shells look amazing. Very, very cool. And all the articulation is the same for all of these turtles. So we do get really nice movement with the head. You can get them looking up, looking down, looking side, looking side. So great movement with the head. It's pretty much probably just on a ball, a big ball joint. Uh, the arms do hinge out a little bit. Not so much. I can get that side out a lot more than this side. But uh, you get full rotation with that. There is no bicep swivel, but you do get swivel at the top and bottom of the elbow get a double jointed elbow which can be kind of hard to manipulate sometimes but because of that shoulder pad but there is two hinges in there that allow that for double joint movement and of course the hands do swivel and hinge you get a little bit of rocky movement inside the shell legs go forward and back you do have thigh rotation you have double jointed knees, and then the feet, you get a really nice hinge back, really nice hinge forward, and you have a rocker as well, or a forward facing pin that kind of kicks it off at an angle, but it still works. The hands are soft. They're not like super soft, but they're a little bit flexible, so if you have any issue getting any of the weapons into the hands, um, 
you know, there is some give there. So you can have each of the f turtles hold on to their weapons accordingly. But yeah, just such an awesome set, man. These things look so great. They look so awesome. I love them. Donatello, let's get a closer look at him. As you can see, they did, again, they did a really nice job with, you know, scaling these down. I mean, you're not going to get as much detail as you, as we did with the, uh, you know, quarter inch scale figures. There's just a lot more room to work with on something that big. But even for bringing them down this size, they just look absolutely fantastic. They really do. I mean, there was no detail spared whatsoever on these figures. They just look absolutely great. Um, I'm sure they probably share the same buck, or it could be kind of like they did with the quarter scale where there were some differences to some of the shells and some of the uh, uh, biceps. So, I mean, that, that might be the same case with these turtles as well. Again, we kind of get these ropes on the back of Donatello's um, straps that, you know, I guess can hold his bow. Yeah, you can kind of squeeze it through both of them. Might take a little bit of finagling. But I'm sure it can be done. Yep, so you can get him to hold on to his bow, so that is awesome. Again, all same articulation, all same great, awesome sculpt, you know, just fell out of there. But I think you can tighten and loosen these as you wish on the back here. But yeah, just all the turtles look absolutely fantastic. Get a quicker look at Michelangelo here. He looks awesome. I really like his eyes. His eyes came out really good. You don't get that kind of wet, realistic look, but it, it still looks great. The smile looks great. You can see his teeth in there a little bit. Uh, again, you know, he's not as short as all the other turtles like he should be, but still, no, you know, no big deal. Um, he gets some nice kind of different, there's different weathering and shading and spots all over the turtles, just like, just like on the uh, big figures as well. The shells look awesome. Again, nice detail here on some of these little, you know, rings around the elbow pads and on the belt and everything like that. Now, as far as his nunchucks, I guess you can kind of squeeze them down in here. I mean, it's kind of a crappy example, but you know what I'm saying. And then closer look at Raphael. Again, these are basically the same... Um, as far as like the expressions and everything, this is this is exactly what we saw on the quarter scale. So they're shrunken down. But you know, for those of us who collect the smaller scales, I mean, this is exactly what we've been waiting for. You know, they're not going to take up a bunch of uh, real estate on the shelf, and you still get that same amount of great, awesome, you know, paint sculpt and detail that NECA put into the you know, quarter scale figures for these figures as well. And yeah, I mean, all of them can hold on to their weapons, no problem. Let's give a quick me measurement. Let's use uh, Raphael since he's right here as example. And yeah, like they said, he's a, they're pretty much a little bit under six and a half inches, right around that six and a half inch mark. So they're going to look great up on the shelf. Mine are definitely going to go into detolf, just so I don't have to worry about, you know, dusting them off. But, oh, that happens. They fall over pretty easily, too. But, yeah, guys, that was a look at the GameStop exclusive, the uh, NECA 1990 live-action movie Ninja Turtle figures. Finally, out to those of us who missed out on them. So, you know, I'm sure... Uh, Everyone has seen these already, but I just definitely wanted to get a video out there because I was just way too excited to finally have these figures in hand and finally give them a nice home in the toy room. But yeah, guys, that was a look at them. Very, very cool figures. Like I said, you're not getting as much accessories as you are with the original uh, Comic Con or the original, you know, San Diego Comic Con um, exclusive edition. But you're getting the same figures. You're getting, you know, a lot of the same um, accessories, and you're getting them for like 25 bucks a piece or under 25 bucks a piece. I think it was 
I think it was like $77 that I had to pay when I went in there yesterday to get them. And of course you put $5 down on each of the figures, so. Yes, I mean, they, they were pretty much $20 a piece, you know, if that, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the figures. Awesome, awesome figures, you know. Hopefully you pre-ordered these through your, you know, local GameStop. Um, that way you could, you know, finally get these figures in hand because they really are absolutely amazing figures and they got some great articulation as well. But uh, that was a look at them, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More videos to come. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next figure review.